piece to Harley Quinn and that is her shoes. <laughs> um, these shoes are actually covers. Um, <laughs> it's hard to explain. Essentially, these are the original shoes. They are from Target. I believe the actual brand is like their Massimo brand or something. I got them originally for a ball. Every now and then my group will have like this holiday ball or whatever and I needed fancy shoes because I didn't own any fancy shoes. Um, so I got these, or these I should say, um, and they're so super comfy. They do have a platform and this heel. The platform, platform lucky enough for me, does cancel out the heel. I walk better in platforms actually. Um, so yeah, the heel itself is not painted. This is a cover that I have wrapped around. It's almost like a, like a skin. But everything else is completely made from scratch. I'll even take the cover off of it. Um, these are custom fit to my leg. So I do have a hairband on it, but that's just for reinforcement. Um, it is completely, I'll have like a better video over here. Um, this is made up of all different types of pieces. This isn't even a part of the shoe. I took some cardboard pieces to reinforce this and help it stand. Um, I looked at a bunch of pictures of the actual um, Jeremy Scott Adidas shoes. Sorry, there's children outside. Um, I did look at actual pictures of the Jeremy Scott Adidas shoes as well as some of the cosplay shoes that you can buy on cosplay websites. With that being said, I had a lot of reference photos. Um, I did the heel first and after I did the heel I realized that it's not red, it's actually a dark orange. Like a, like a, like a red dark red orange so that's why these don't match these I was able to look closely enough and use my pattern making skills to kind of craft my own shoe pattern um, and who knows maybe I will at some point make a tutorial for it but I don't know I saved all the pattern pieces so it would be very easy um, the leg piece itself I custom fit it and it's made up of two pieces. I did also make the shoelace, but essentially I, to do the little lip, I glued one side to one of the other sides, and then this side just kind of flaps around, so you're able to wrap it around your calf, and then just tie it together with your laces. I also custom made the tongue to fit over the tongue of the original shoe. It is attached with um, black electrical tape. Um, so that being said, these are just covers. Um, I might have a video that I'll insert somewhere of me taking the cover off the shoe. And if not, then at some point I will be posting a, a video of it on my Instagram, which would be right here somewhere. Um, because I will be taking these to Texas and showing my grandma <laughs> <laughs> showing my grandma these because she was so flabbergasted by them and I want to show her that they're actually shells and that you can take them off and they'll stand completely on their own um, but yeah this is like my most talked about piece um, and then here's the other one the other one had some mishaps which I'm sure everyone has had a mishap um, but yeah and then I just get these little plastic shoe thingies and I just jam it inside there. But yeah, those are my Harley Quinn shoes. Um, yeah, some of the detailing isn't there yet because I didn't have time. There would have been fake stitching going across here and all the way up toward the back. There also would have been um, fake eyelets back here and some laces. Once again, 
time caught up with me. <laughs> um, I did have some malfunctions, so if you are going to be making boot shells and you're gonna be making them out of something like this, I would definitely recommend reinforcing where you're going to be putting your laces because I actually had one break on me the morning of the convention and I didn't have time to um, heat up my glue gun. So I would definitely recommend getting some eyelets and putting them in the foam or something like that to just reinforce it all together. Um, you can do this with any type shoe. I only did this because right here in this general area it was similar to the Jeremy Scott original design and these were already comfy and I already had them and I could already use them. Um, but by all means if you have a pair of shoes that you would like to use or just turn them into your own representation of Harley shoes then go ahead, um, especially if they're comfortable for you. You can do these with flat shoes, you can do these with... Um, like normal not boot shoes um, like I don't just general normal heels um, but these in general these booties were comfortable for me I can wear them for a hell of a long time I wore these to the convention for almost nine hours um, what I do recommend if you are gonna wear heels is to double up on socks so for instance, I just wore socks. Um, if you are going to... Okay, so as for tips, a lot of people were asking um, how I walked in heels for almost nine hours. Um, I myself have worn heels a lot. I like heels, so my feet kind of uh, know the drill. But I haven't worn heels in a while, so this was the first time in a good couple of months that they have been in heels. Um, if you're going to have fishnets, I do recommend putting your socks on prior to putting these on. That way the fishnet is inside and your foot is protected from these because um, these really do hurt your feet. Um, and then after that, wear a thick sock. I wore um, some like fluffy spa socks that are really thick and I just rolled them down and stuffed them inside. Um, like, where I had room. Uh, and that really put a lot of weight off my foot. And it padded everything and made everything nice and cushy in there. So that is some advice. Um, if you try to recreate these heels the same way that I did, then please send me pictures on Instagram or Twitter. Once again, my links will be in the description box. And and I hope you guys have an absolutely awesome convention season or week or whatever.